doing because I got okay. a lot to talk about as oh, we you? saw. Oh yeah, like a lot of stuff releasing on the Patreon and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, good call, yeah. good call. Mutineer Zero, Mutineer Hero, <clears throat> Episode Three. It's the, it's the funniest name. The Legend of Curly's Gold. Oh, City Slickers too. <laughs> <laughs> I should well, yeah. mute us before we go live. <laughs> it's like the first thing I say is <laughs> City Slickers <laughs> 2! <laughs> Alright, let's. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Saturday Night Mutineer Zero, Grim and Perilous Studios Edition. I'm looking at my overlay. Piper Proudfoot slash Jen is obviously not Mike, and Mike is obviously, or Sunny, the Mike Boss Boss, is obviously not Jen. So, uh, I'm going to do some switching around here. Uh, and while I do that, let's do the little intros. Everybody can plug what they're going on, and I'll fix the overlay. Ken, start with you. You're to my left. What do you got going on? Anything you want to plug? Uh, no. I'm Ken. I'm playing Tarkov. I have nothing going on. Tell us, who is Tarkov? What does he do? Uh, Tarkov is the stalker, yep. and usually he uh, gets really injured and needs to get helped by everyone else. Yep. Yeah. That That's true. That, that's, that's about it. 
It's a fact. All right, let's go to Adam, who's got a lot to talk about. About. Hello. Yes, I've got uh, quite a few irons in the uh, fire as of late. Um, been working pretty hard on Radiator. Uh, I had the week off from work, and so I was able to get uh, a good portion of writing done towards the uh, chat books release. Um, so we've also we also just announced that uh, the Radiator podcast is now becoming a show on our Patreon, to where uh, once we get through all of the podcast stuff, you'll be able to see our uh, faces for good or ill, um, depending on if you like our faces. And then uh, we also have it set up to where we can switch it to uh, the grid because at, at our table, we use a grid. And I know that some people have been asking to see what Zweihander is like or Radiator, which is powered by Zweihander, what it's like on a grid. You can just tune into this um, channel if you want to see that. We've been doing grid since day one. That's that's true. Um, that's very true. Just saying. I stand corrected. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the uh, so we've uh, I'm moving forward on a few things. I reached out to a couple of artists about a couple of uh, images. Um, one of them who has absolutely nothing going on, maybe okay. about. Uh, well, actually, no, he doesn't have anything. <laughs> Ken's um, the, the busiest man I know. Yeah. No, I'm super lazy. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to see uh, kind of some things that I've had uh, in my head coming to life, finally, from uh, people whose art I really admire. Um, so it's uh, it's going to be pretty amazing. Um, Take the hint, so, Ken. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, other than that, uh, I have to work tonight. So I'm one of the reasons that we may stop earlier, but, uh, um, in exchange, I'll get a day off to write even more. So, um, I hope you have like thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, tell us about Vincent. Vincent is a gearhead. He also likes to get injured in combat. Um, and, uh, he, when we left off, uh, was paralyzed from the neck down and oh, yeah. for some reason they wanted to turn back. Um, yeah, yeah you got like, a we're crazy inflatable mattress <laughs> that they brought you back on. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Vinny is your resident, uh, optimist, uh, and, uh, he's going to uh, be making stuff for people. Um, I hope that, uh, you all got my updates from a while ago when I redid some rolls I did wrong. Um, I can't even remember what they were, but somebody's armor was now permanent or rot suit or whatever. So I think you guys spend a lot of money on, on rot suits. Yeah. If not, we'll just uh, move forward. But um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it about uh, Vinny. He's uh, all alone without his ma. <laughs> that's right. Ma's been We're all seven. alone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. With our, our grenade launching mall. <laughs> Jen, Jen, what do you got going on? Uh, Tuesdays on my channel, Pixel Prowler, we are doing Remnant uh, game sessions, uh, trying to get through some of the worlds, taking on new bosses. Um, obviously, we're playing Mutant Year Zero tonight. Uh, next Tuesday, we're going to finish up Alien Act 3. So I'm excited. Yeah, looking forward to that. See how that plays out. Um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I saw you guys are playing uh, Bloodborne the other day as well. Oh, yeah. I'm going to start trying to do that, too. It's going to be my, it'll be my uh, first playthrough. I'm terrible at those Souls games, and I really wanted to play that through that one because it's just, like, steep with, like, eldritch mythology and, like, Cthulhu and Lovecrafty and stuff. But I'm so bad at those games. I'm terrible. Well, you know. Same here. It is a three-player game. Is it? I own it. All right. All right. We need to talk. Yeah. All right. We'll do this after yeah. stream because we're on limited time tonight. We'll talk okay. after. Right. I'll uh, reinstall it on my play, PlayStation. On my PlayStation yeah. 4. Do it. PlayStation. Yep. PlayStation. Um, <laughs> tonight I'm playing an animal named Piper Proudfoot, just the one foot. And she's a hunter. And I've got a permanent camouflage armor suit thing in a jig and a temporary temporary rat suit made of rubber tubes 
<laughs> it's weird. That's right. <laughs> like dude. Awesome. That's how I roll. Yeah, there's actually water in it, and I no, just kidding. <laughs> in in winter, remember we are playing in winter. Mike, the boss, cool. bossler, is playing Sunny. Mike, what do you got going on? I uh, just got normal mechanics Mondays, then Queen of Embers on Wednesdays. I got radiators on Fridays. I got this sometimes on Saturdays. So I, I keep busy. <clears throat> yes, you do. But yeah, just been helping Adam play test uh, some of the new characters uh, that he's been working for radiator. So that's been fun. And tell us yeah, about I'm Sunny. So excited. Oh, so Sunny, Sunny, uh, he's the boss, right? Um, I mean, he's got a crew of like fifteen now, almost. I mean, it's it's a lot, right? Fifteen. Deep. You even converted a cultist. I converted a cultist. I got some bears. It's it's fantastic, uh, you know, because he's got a nose for talent. If uh, if you know what I mean, because uh, he's actually got the um, that one mute <laughs> the tracker one. Yeah, the tracker. I think it was what it's called, the mutation. Um, yes. Yeah, so that's what he does. He bosses people around, and he gets stuff done. And maybe we'll, we'll be able to get more than one zone away this time with, through his leadership. That's yes. <laughs> that was rough Let's last try. time. That was rough last time. <laughs> so why don't we uh, why don't we do a recap of what happened last time? Speaking of which, what did we do last time? I bled a lot. I definitely yeah. got injured a lot. And yeah, water is bad. Water <laughs> is <laughs> yeah. Water is rotten. Even when yeah. it's icy, it's bad. Yeah, you guys got... Okay, so on the... Everybody can see the overlay. I've changed the overlay. Everybody can see our map. So we've got our arc here. Uh, and you guys made it to... Oh, you made it up to here, actually. Between Snoopy's eyes. Because you see there's a little R2 in the corner. And that's when you guys got struck with some heavy rot levels. Yeah, two zones. Two zones. That's right. See, Jeff knows. <laughs> you guys went two zones. Mm -hmm. And you made it it's there. It's going to be one tonight. <laughs> and that's when the, the, the rot hit you. And all of you collapsed but Sunny and some cultists uh, that were wandering the area previously that Tarkov had seen actually uh, came and helped and brought you back to the Ark. And uh, they've since, um, I don't know, integrated themselves into the Ark? Yes. Infiltrated. Whether you approve of it or not. <laughs> yeah, infiltrated. Yeah. Um, yeah. There was talk that there's a possible Ark to the southeast of you guys last week. You were you were very or last game you were very invested in going to see what your new neighbors what they are. Um, is that a Fuji's reference? I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> it is. Um, your new neighbors there. Uh, the cultists did tell you about the silver egg and Zachariah, who was uh, uh, yeah. who was their leader over there, and the and um, so yeah. The humans down there were the, the inbred humans that kidnapped Tarkov in their first session. So, um, yeah, it's up to you guys. We're going to pick up where we left off. That's really what took place last time. You got you let these cultists in. You fought some dogs, some dags, and uh, dags. it got a little little dicey. Like uh, Vincent said, he, he was paralyzed. Did somebody else get an injury as well? Yeah, my gun blew up, and I oh. believe uh, Tarkov was also injured. I did have to heal or use. Yeah, I did that's have right. to. The master use of the... magnetism, his power mm -hmm. back fired. Yeah, that was pretty awful. Um, <laughs> I think I have like I have something like wrong with my foot. I have like a club foot or something. Yeah, weird. that's right. Yeah, we still have a couple of days injury. So I was going to ask you guys if you yeah. wanted to wait before going out that you are you are doing better. Like you guys can take I, some time. But I absolutely have... would. I'd oh, like to wait for my crushed foot, foot to get better. I but remember, we also have a days. timeline here on the water. Come on, we can take uh, it. Yeah. We can take um, him. So before we get into that, I want to announce we have a new uh, sponsor affiliate that we're now partnered with. Uh, is Found Familiar Coffee. And mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go ahead and drop a link in the chat to them. What they do is they create, um, create role-playing inspired coffee blends. So such as Arcane Recovery, Detect Magic, Face Tape, step oh i'm terrible at reading tonight it's gonna be a long night uh <laughs> regenerate rogue panache sanctuary sentinel are different kinds of blends of coffee that they produce if you go over there and you buy coffee and you use that link down there affiliate link you get um you get uh to buy it and help us out we get a, a portion <laughs> of the proceeds and we would be greatly uh greatly appreciative of that 
So uh, take a look. Check out their the role playing inspired coffee. It's very unique for products out there that are tabletop role playing related. And um, yeah. I was saying before the show, we should get in touch with them and talk to them about maybe some some grim and perilous coffee because there seems to be a, a heavy D and D presence over there. And I think we 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 sh- we could represent. Can be like murky dark coffee. Yeah, right. That's kind I of will. Stuff I, drink. I will love. Yeah. <laughs> Black. Yeah, I think I was saying grim and darker roast. Yeah. <laughs> so grim and darker uh, roast. Please, please take a look at the check out that uh, that affiliate link, and if you like anything there, and you you purchase some coffee, it will help out the channel. We greatly appreciate it. So take a look. Found familiar coffee. The link is in the chat. I think I'll get some. I'm gonna order some as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're at the top of the session. We're going to start the usual way. Well, how how many days is it going to take for you guys to, to be healed back up to full? Let me ask you that, because we had the paralyzed guy and the club foot. How many days healing was it? Do you remember? You rolled a I, have, um, you. I have four days. I have either four or two. It depends on how many times I was healed. I can't remember. Remember we just talked about like a line of people in the hallway, just like, I'll try. I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the mechanics yeah. are kind of broken that way. So for me to like say like, no, you can't do it. Like whatever. You've got like a hundred and something people that live there. Sure. Everybody can take a crack at it. Whatever. It'd be silly to be like, no, you can't. Mm. Yeah. Cause Sonny has, I think a really, I mean, he has a four empathy and a three heal. So, you know, he's got actually probably a really good heal out of most people. Yeah. Yeah, I I'd rather get some they, tools or something. That'd be great. The book says, you know, each person can try once. And I I would think that uh, they're pretty much talking about the party. I don't know. But... Yeah, it's it's weird. Like, there are some gaps in this game where we kind of have to fill them in. Uh, and it sure. is kind of a gray area when it comes to the arc, right? And the number of people there. Like, even someone who's untrained in medicine can attempt to try to heal you, right? The way this game is, is written. So... I don't know. But um, <laughs> but it also seems like you can't attempt the heal skill unless you're broken. Mm. Um, oh, right. Once, heal once you're damage. unbroken. Gotcha. Right. I, I don't know about the injury part, but at least for the damage. Yeah, right, 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 right. Um, but, I mean, whatever you want to do, you know. I'm, I'm um, cool with it, us, like, like people, other people attempting. Like, I know... Sonny has probably people under his watch that can try to attend to you. There are, would be like medics or medical staff that would be there as well in the arc. Yeah. I think I was looking at um, like in the GM section, there's a section for like basic like NPCs, which is kind of what I was going for, for a lot of yep. my, my guys. Um, I think is. only like chroniclers had heal. Like uh, and then, yeah. Uh, I would just have the one, but um, that's why I was like, well, there's the uh, healer that is the animal, um, and they would have, uh, they have a heal one, but they have a, like, an empathy of five, so they're pretty good, uh, but yeah, your chroniclers, um, your dealers, actually, uh, your fixers, uh, they have a uh, five empathy as well, so... Yeah, deal. five is about average on what those will have. Dealers. All right, so we cut it down to what was it? Two days, you said, Adam, on yours. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we'll say uh two days for Ken's club foot as well. So you guys have lost two days because it was a couple of weeks that you had before the water supply ran out. Um, mm-hmm. And you guys spent a day in the zone dropping to the rot and going back out, getting beaten up by a couple dogs and coming back. And then you spent well, a couple days <laughs> uh, recuperating. So that's three days that we've lost off of our two-week timeline here. To find water or something, mm-hmm. a piece apart, and look into this. So, we start with our general assembly. That's how we start every session. We gather in the auditorium. We have the bosses. We have the bosses sitting there at the front here. I'll, I'll move us to our, our arc uh, hierarchy here page. The nice picture of Sirens Cove at the top, courtesy of Ken. Oh, fancy. And we've got our bosses. We've got Alcazar and his crew, Doctor, Althea, 
and Sonny have all assembled at the front of the auditorium. Again, there is no sign, there is no presence of Siren herself, the Ark Leader. Rumors are abound. Althea is still um, acting in her absence and running the show. So we need to decide what we want to spend our work points on. What project do we want to do this week? Do you guys remember uh, what we did last time? We did a temple last time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did we roll for that? You did. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, Good. Then we would have recorded it. I would have done that. Um, yeah, we should have. I think we got five culture. I can't remember. Uh, I'm pulling it up now. Yeah, to pull up and run roll. We got roll six 20. culture. Re rolled a six. Mm -hmm. Try to make this so this. And we've got Mitch Tummers, our priest cult leader. Yeah. Oh yeah, T Tummers. Tum Tummers. Tummers. <laughs> Mitch Tummers. Why is he we not should, here tonight? We should uh we should write our um our our dev bonuses and stuff here too. Somewhere on like the right of Siren's Cove so we can see it. Uh that's a really good idea, actually. It's a very good idea. I'm trying to adjust this so that the chat can actually or the viewers can actually see everything we're seeing and my window is not cooperating. But um Ooh. I forgot to silence my phone. Sorry about that. You're silencing it now. Let's see. Can I pull this off? Oh, one oh. thing. Uh, so the new uh, guys I got, I remember I named them. Uh, the cultist that I converted was a, uh, his name is Pat Ron, and he's a cultist. Or, or we call him Patreon. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> And then uh, we got uh, two uh, bears. One is Baloo and one is Booz, and they are yes. the Baloo's brothers. Nice. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. Right. And that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. All right. I think I fixed this in real time while you guys are going over that. Yeah. Although the healer for animals is, like, really cool. They get to be able to, like, brew potions. And like those potions can heal like a D six of whatever damage. Like it's pretty pretty awesome what those guys can do. That is awesome. Um, yeah. so what what are the bonuses you guys currently have? That's a good idea. I'm gonna write it in next to Siren's Cove. Uh, we have a food supply of ten, a culture of six, technology of two, and warfare of ten. Right, now on. I have culture as eight. Because I think we will put the remainder of culture or the of our points. Because so we had 12 to start with. We put 10 mm, in food supply, okay. 2 in culture. Left technology is 0 That's right. and okay, warfare is 0. 10. What was the next one? Food culture. supply 10, culture 8. Technology 2. Okay. And warfare 10. Fair. Okay, cool. Let me fix this. What? You said culture 10, right? Did I just hear that right? No, uh, culture 8. Oh, dang it. Okay, culture there we go. 10. It's on, our, it's, it's on our sheet. Hey, what is. I just heard a bong in my ear. What is that? Country Biscuits is now following us. Thank you so much, Country Biscuits. <laughs> Thanks, Country Biscuits. Very much appreciated. All right. So what do we want to work on this time? There is everything we've got going on there. Food supply. We're really good for food supply. We're really good at warfare. Um, is, there, is there anything we can work on to up our tech? Yeah, our culture got bumped up last time because of the temple, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the culture's skyrocketed because of the temple. I think we needed a culture of five in order to do something that had tech. And that's why we did the temple, maybe. Museum. Uh, museum, it requires five culture. And the dev bonus when it's completed is uh, a D6 culture and a D6 technology. Ooh. We should do that. I would love to hear what's going to end up in this museum. Campbell's food cans. We got an old teddy bear. Uh, uh, no, no, no. A, mu a museum of uh, flamingo lawn ornaments over time. Yes. And, and, be like and lawn gnomes and 
And like I the, thought it would be Snoopy themed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's even better. Yeah. The, Sirens, like, the Sirens Cove Snoopy Museum. Yes. That would be sweet. Peanuts. And whatever uh, D list list celebrity was like playing the casino, you know, when everything went to hell. Yeah. <laughs> would be showcased exactly. There. Yeah. I think people would go nuts for it. Wait, Peanuts. no, it would be a, it would be a Sloopy or Spoopy museum and oh. it would be uh it would also be about the comic strip cashews cashews <laughs> <laughs> i'm yeah. partial to almonds i thought it was much funnier okay almonds is good i'm, I'm all right with that <laughs> all right so let's roll for our museum i always guys give you guys the full hello found familiar thank you for joining us we were just talking about your uh your coffee uh not too long ago i'm gonna drop the link here as well it's saying we'd love to talk to you about possibly a, a grim and perilous roast, uh, if possible. Uh, we can always chat later. But uh, let us roll for our museum. So, number of work points, certain project needs to be completed, measured in so-called work points. The work, number of work points is always multiplied by the number of PCs in your group. Thus, a Palisades needs four work points for a group of four PCs, but only two work points in a group of two PCs. So... A museum is two times the number of PCs in this case. So we have so, five, right? Because we always, we always roll for right. whoever's not there. Jeremy, like yeah. You get the pre-roll. Mm -hmm. And it's a comprehend is the skill for this one. Ooh. So you'd have to roll whatever your comprehend is. So oh, for those that don't so have remember, a great one. This, uh, no, this is also no, an opportunity have... to get some mutant points. And, uh, mm -hmm. and, and I can't remember what they're called for you, Jen. Points as well. Power points. So keep that in mind. You can push here, and you can get some 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 mutant points for the session. I've, One thing pretty, I... I've actually got a everything else is sort of beat up on Tarkov, but he's got wits three and uh, comprehend one. Awesome. Uh, um, yeah, I'll go. For One it. thing also is uh, there is a item called the shovel, I believe. And it gives you a plus one to your projects roll, gear roll. So um, you Does use somebody that. have a shovel? Oh, uh, I actually did. Or buy a one spade. spade. Yeah, oh, okay. so I believe yeah. it's. It's like, I don't remember giving you this damn thing. That seems way <laughs> yeah, too generous of me. It's at the bottom of. Uh, or is it near the back of the book? Sure, sure. But yeah, it's a couple. Uh, you guys bullets. went crazy buying things after last session. You're like, wait, we, we can did. buy stuff, and it'll actually really help us. Well, yeah, because Sonny's got like nine bullets, and he doesn't have a gun anymore, so he might as well spend them. Because my right. gun blew up. Uh, Vinny got some successes there. Vinny mm -hmm. got uh, two successes. And uh, if you guys want me to try for more. I can push, but uh, I got two. All right, yeah, let's... let's see what we get first. Two of ten. Did we figure out that advanced roll was the best way to roll? I think so. For this one, it's yeah. the most accurate. Okay, yeah, that's what that's what it was. Okay. So for those of you in the chat, all that matters in this game are sixes. That's all oh. we're looking for. So that's why there's like ones in the box there. And I hover the mouse over and you can see what the actual roll is. Um, so Sunny got one six. And um, Tarkov I, I and, and Piper got <laughs> nothing. No, I missed. I, I just uh, I just advanced rolls before I, I put anything in. This oh, would okay. be my actual roll. So Tarkov got one. So we're at two, three, four out of ten. Um you have a one on your skill die, Tarkov, and that doesn't matter, but Piper has a one on her base dice, so she's going to take that out, and that could mean a power point for her, but also injuring herself, possibly. Do I have to? You don't have to. You don't have to push. <laughs> you don't have to push, but I'm just saying if you want to, because you guys are at, what, four, and you need ten yeah, we to need complete ten. this? Yeah. Oh, we have a roll for Jeremy also. Or Ma. Let me roll for Ma. I've only got three points. Three I think he has like die. a one. <laughs> what's what's for, the stat? It's wits, right? And then no comprehends. <laughs> he has, doesn't have any comprehend. He has no. a, literally one dice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll for him. <laughs> wits one. This will be great. Uh, comprehend. 
Oh, you got a success. You're up to five. You're halfway there. All right, here we go. He could push also. He's not going to take any damage. Yeah, do it. See, found familiar. Just do it, of course. <laughs> I took three damage. Oh, snap. Totals. You took damage, but yeah. you got another success. Yep. I'm going to push uh, Jerry because well, he's not uh, here. Three, yeah, three confusion total. How about did that? We heal, did we heal back our attributes? Even yes. Though we had the critical yes, you injuries? did. Oh, uh, okay, okay. As soon as you rest for something like six hours, you just get everything back, yeah. like all your tributes. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, Jeremy took a point of damage, but he's not going out today. So he got you one success. Yeah. Good job, Jeremy. So you're at five? <laughs> we got the ones again for the sixes. <laughs> Contributed One, three total. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're at five. So you're halfway there for your museum. Nice. So I got a one for a gear dice. If I push it, it'll break it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. If if it breaks, if you roll a one on your gear dice. Right, because I rolled a one success. right now, but do I re-roll it again? Oh. Or do I keep it? No, if you re-roll that thing's you can't re-roll it. You yeah, can't re-roll your gear die. If there's if Okay, so the one. gear dice would stay as a one. Yeah. Doesn't it just break? If like, he re-rolls, is... it'll bust. Oh, okay, okay. So he could okay. stop now and be like, oh, hey, there's a crack in my spade. I'm not going to do this again. Ah, uh, come oh. on. I can I can just, uh, you know, duct tape it up. I mean, it's only a bullet. I mean, I could spend a bullet on this. So okay. let's do it. Uh, so I don't re-roll it, so I don't get that. But I do re-roll four base dice and three skill dice. Yeah, and if you rolled any ones on your skill dice, you could re-roll those because those don't count. Which you didn't, so you're good. I gotta drop a coffee on my book and I, it's bothering me. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> coffee stain. Oh yeah, there we go. I had one from before, so that's Three more. So we're up to uh, eight. So that's four total. Nice. No, we're up and to I nine. Took two damage. And so my we... thing broke. No, so it's three more that you got, so we're up to eight. Yes. We need that's two more. Cool. Jen, do you wanna do you wanna push your roll? Are you gonna... Piper, I mean, or are you I... just gonna leave it? I guess I could. I only have three wit, so I feel like they're all looking at you. I'm not We don't have to finish die. it and we don't have to. Thing. Yeah, yeah we don't you have don't have to. You don't want to you don't have to. Oh. It just means it won't be finished this session. We can pick it up next session. I, I'm not going to. I don't feel like we should blow ourselves out before we even go into the wasteland. Yeah, like, you haven't even left yet. You guys have already yeah, taken it some Yeah, it just seems damage. super, super dangerous. <laughs> we just came back and licked our wounds and now we're just This is what's out. fun. <laughs> You're going to blow your back out just like trying to yeah. build a museum. A, a snoopy, <laughs> no, it's a just confusion. It's just confusion. I love a Snoopy. <laughs> She's she stared at the effigy of Snoopy too long and is going insane. <laughs> dags. Why'd it have to be dags? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, are we gonna uh, move on from here? Yep. If we're I done with that, if we're good. I do push it, yep. I'll get a feral point and I'll damage myself. Uh, you'll suffer confusion, you'll damage your wits. Oh, like I need that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a very witty cat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry guys. I think we need to finish this dog museum later. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. Okay, yeah. I'm making note there on our arc sheet that your museum is currently at eight points. Thank you. Man. Cool. So it is recorded. You guys are so close. Work has started. People are bringing in artifacts. <laughs> and like, is this? Will this work? Is this good? From from and, across the world, Snoopy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and someone's sitting there, and they're like, mm, nope, that's not gonna make the cut. Take it, take it away. Take it. Away. That's no good. <laughs> <laughs> we have a cure. We have a curator. Yeah. Yes, that is. You know what? You know who that's going to be? It's going to be our newest follower. It's going to be uh, what was his name? Rum Tum Tugger or whatever. No, no the biscuits. Con country biscuits. Yeah! Oh, country biscuits. Country biscuits go. is our curator. <laughs> nice. Sounds about right. It was Mitch Tummers who is our oh, yeah. <laughs> our resident um, uh, holy man, oh. isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, hey guys uh. Do you need anything before we get out of here? Do you want me to fix your spade? Uh, I I don't know that whole... Buy a new one. Don't worry about it. No, but that whole, uh, you know, figuring out what's spoopy and what's snoopy <laughs> and what's sloopy and what's peanuts and almonds and cashews. I don't know. 
Like I just, uh, <laughs> I gotta clean my head, so I kind of will make some, you know, or or fix something. Did we did did we talk about uh, arm wearing armor and a rot suit at the same time? Did we, we get did. a figure so out? So if that? you take damage and it goes through your armor, it's also taking points off your rot suit. It's okay. not gonna stack. I'm not gonna give you extra gear dice for the rot suit if you're right. fighting combat. But if your armor takes damage, your rot suit's also gonna take damage in turn because it's going through your rot suit and through your armor. But you get to wear them both at the same I time. I see a rot suit almost like uh like uh like one of those radioactive like the yellow like the yeah, yellow yeah yeah so it's like big and poofy and you wear it over your armor and yeah and it only yeah. it only gets damaged if you roll ones on the armor dice you know so that was my ruling yeah my it's... gavels come down dun, dun. yeah sounds good um because i will so... kill you you guys almost died to dogs you kind of need all the help you can get and you almost died to rot <laughs> so yeah any anything like uh you all need nothing. I think I'll take some armor if you got some armor. Yeah, I was gonna say I think because you can build armor, can't you? Uh, yes, and I made your uh, armor permanent. That's uh, one thing I remember. Yeah, you made my makeshift armor uh, permanent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you want me to make you some armor? <laughs> okay, I got all these pots around here from this uh, from this Starcraft deer. Um. Oh yeah, your like, RB. You no, know, what you want to made out of? You want a wood? You want this uh, corrugated stuff? So you know, it. Uh, you just want me to pick something. Like, hello. He's asking Tur <laughs> Turkov, what do you want this, thing, this armor made out of? <laughs> no, no, uh, no, I think yeah. it's uh, the boss. Oh, yeah, it's the boss. Me, I have, what I was going to give me the most armor. armor? What are you talking about? My life's <laughs> very important. I want the best stuff you can make. What are you talking about? Okay, so we're talking like, we're talking like, uh, um, uh, it's going to take me a while to cut apart the engine block, but that's the thickest stuff we got. Like, I want full plate stuff so that way when I try to roll, I just belly flop and do damage to the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I do in our... Yeah. Uh, well, first off, I'm going to try and I'm going to attempt to repair the, um, uh, what you call it, the uh, rubber band um, that we had. So, here's hoping... Yeah. Uh, don't let Ma down. Nothing there. Did it do, do it right? To, do you want to push Yeah, that five, right? four. Oh, of course, for Ma. Ma is nope. not present. Nope. The Permanently cannot broken. Be cannot be yep. repaired. That's right. Um, so then now I'm going to attempt to make... Um, some armor for Sunny, and I get to add two dice because of my talent to that. And away we go. Hey, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Now, let's see. If you want it to be more than three, I can push. I mean, I wouldn't want to hurt yourself since you're using this to heal yourself. <laughs> it's permanent. That's good enough. All right. So, yeah. Then it's uh, permanent, and it's three, and it's uh, um, made from the inner workings. Like, uh, you've got uh, uh, some gears and <laughs> stuff uh, from the transmission. Like, it's abnormally thick and awkward, and I, I even cut apart the engine block. Yeah, I mean, Sonny doesn't actually plan on getting into in, to any fights. Like, he's totally letting you guys do that. After he's one of the time? worst actual just, fighters. Just like last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'm the healer, man. Uh, I'll heal you, but I have, like, some of the worst possible, like, stats for attacks. <laughs> well, I just recovered my wits, so I'm back up. So, awesome. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's awesome. uh, let's yeah. do this, you guys. Let's do this. Uh, I'm just making note that uh, Mitch Tummers is our holy man, and Country Biscuits is our curator. Hey, it pays to show up 
and follow us because you're gonna be, you become part of the game. You are now part of the lore. <laughs> That's you're official. The, the Snoopy curator. <laughs> All right, so we're back to the the map of the zone. You guys have options of where you want to head. So, recap of what's going on. I'm trying to make it so the chat or the there we go. Everybody who's watching can now see our map as we fill it in. This is a bit of a hex crawl as well. So we are located here at the oh uh, uh, let me click my clicker here at the arc. That is where we are located. Uh, so there are rumors of another arc to the southeast. There are rumors of some strange neighbors to the northwest. There is a cult of the silver egg that they found out about last week. Um, oh, yeah. To the west of them. They ran into some strange inbred purebred humans, which are very rare, very strange to find true humans out here in the wasteland uh, over there. We should get rid of that question mark, because we did run into them. And there's rumors of things over here, cars and ghouls and some extreme rot. Um, these little, um, what are those called again? Chevrons are zones where they have explored, and we also have the rot level in the top left-hand corner for each zone that they've explored to keep track of that as well, because they dropped up here to rot level two last time it was pretty deadly so mm -hmm. that is what's going on on the map uh there haven't been any new rumors you guys did uh invite in let me show a picture of it again <laughs> these strange cultists <laughs> into your your midst these are the, the cultists of the silver egg they helped you they brought you back um they're very they strange, friendly bizarre people very friend they are they were very friendly in demeanor uh, but you guys avoided them. You completely avoided them when you saw their long procession going across the frozen lake. And um, yeah, if you, you're like, hey, we might have to go around the lake now to get to our new neighbors, which in turn will take you in the path of the cult of the Silver Egg and, and Zacharias, their, their miracle man. Their messiah, their oracle. So where do we want to go for passing through areas that you've already been this is where you guys fought the dog uh if you go through there i think it was like uh, something like 45 minutes to pass through if it's the first time through a zone it's four hours but once you've explored it it's 45 minutes and it's up to me if you encounter anything new or anything else happens as you're passing through there but it is generally assumed that you've explored that tile once you've been through it once but that's where you, yeah, you encountered the dogs, and one of you became paralyzed, and another one got a club foot. So uh, we're wanting to go to our new neighbors, right? <laughs> you guys still focusing on? So the the water is still an issue. You guys, your water supply is drying up fast. <laughs> Safe water. You discovered that there's heavy, heavy, heavy rot contamination in this lake that you were getting your fresh water from, um, but it's 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 rotting the the lake uh your contamination unit is on the fritz it's not going to um be able to keep up with it much longer your water purifier so there was talk of maybe going to a possible other arc that might be nearby and talking to them see if they might have some parts uh but you're also very curious about your new neighbors over there who are these people that have shown up there was talk that they were lizard people was it not were they not did the lizard. cultists yeah. not drop that yeah. that bomb on you yep um, speaking of which, I'd like everybody to make me a know the zone roll, please. All right. They spoke of a metal machine partway in the water and partway out, and there was fires lit around it. Is that everybody? Nope. Uh, I don't have no the zone. That's okay. Then you just roll to... your wits. Okay. Get your wits about you, Piper. All right. I'm so, so witty. <laughs> Tarkov, you, while you're there, kind of like hobbling around the ark and and your ego's a little bruised. And you're looking for, what was the name of your lady friend again? Uh, Asta, I want to say. I named her after Astra? a Swedish punk band. Yeah. Okay. You're looking for her, and you're even talking to her, and um, she's let you in on some some news and some rumors that um, my girl Alcazar's men, his numbers are thinning the last little while. Some of his guys seem to uh, be disappearing, like dying, disappearing, or uh, disappearing they're just like... on the arc. They've disappeared from the arc. Huh.
Oh, should I follow up on that? Sorry. Oh, it's up to you. You can share with the others oh, or whatever no. you want to do with it. She just oh. let you know, like, the two days that you're healing. She's like, hey, I've, I've noticed that it's, it's like, rumors, and it's kind of been noticed. Does she, does she tie to Alcazar? Or was it Talkter? I can't remember. It was uh, uh, Talkter. Talkter? Yeah. Okay. That yeah, wanted her and then couldn't get her. Right. Um, yeah, it's she's noticed that uh, Alcazar's men, his, his, his numbers and ranks are thinning, and his men are leaving, and they haven't been coming back. Uh, can I press her and ask her where they were going to, like where they were leaving? Was it for like a like a hunting expedition or like a zone? She says she's expedition? she's not aware. She just noticed um, that they've been keeping themselves and they haven't really been leaving their their area, their their turf. But when they are gone, that um, there's distinctly less of them every time. Hmm. So I assume while I'm healing up, I'm like laying in like a an old mattress or something so i'm gonna yeah, like in one of the rooms yeah i'm gonna like hit the arm of one of these guys and let them know actually i should probably tell sunny because sunny's my boss yeah but so you could report yeah. to your boss <laughs> so, I'll, so, I'll, <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm gonna let sunny know uh that that one of his his uh his nemeses is losing people quickly and it might be time for a a corporate takeover huh. <laughs> This is interesting that you bring this to me. Um, I'll have to think about it. I mean, he was never one for muscle much anyway, but uh, it's good to know that we can knock that domino over if we need to. And Yeah. I mean, how would you go about, like, gathering information on the arc like that? Would it be like a role or just asking people? Um, I would do maybe a manipulate, uh, for you, given your, I'm, your position. I can do a little manipulation. Uh, I might be a little okay on that. Let's see here. So you, you want to, you want to start get you want to start talking to people and have your guys kind of like asking around and things like that. That's what Oh yeah. Doing. I'm going to let the boys know like, Hey, mm -hmm. you know, cause I remember that Alcazar wanted to create a militia before. Mm -hmm. And so I'm wondering if he's trying to send his boys out and either they're getting themselves killed or something else. Yeah. What's going on? I did not get any successes. Do you want to push your roll? Sure. Let's do it. Yes. Live free, die hard. I didn't have any ones, so no, I have to rule everything. Ooh, I got one one and one success. So I'll take, take one, one to your what was it, your wits or something? Empathy. Believe it. Empathy, yes. Alright, so your boys, they uh they start asking around, they kind of start hanging around Elkazar's turf and territory and I actually like, did that wrong. Um empathy was at four. My did roll wits for three, so hold on. So it'd be four and three. So let's roll that. Okay, and I'm going to push it because I failed. Uh, and then do you re-roll base dice or no? You don't re-roll base you dice, right? You don't re-roll base dice. All right, so we'll push it again. All right, so I still the same results. All okay, right, same but, result uh, at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, your boys start asking around, and um, it's rumored that Alcazar has been sending his men um, out. They were actually sent out a week ago. When you guys went out looking for Tarkov, they went out on their own. And there's a rumor that they found something, but they got into some trouble. And he's been sending his men out to go look into it and help them. Interesting. So he's found something out there because we know that he's a collector, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we could believe that uh, maybe it is something valuable that uh, he has found. But um, I think it's kind of low on the party right now. We need to get the water, number one. And I think, um, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what would be the best way to go about it. Like, should we try to go to see these neighbors? Are they polluting it? Maybe we stop the pollution? Will that allow the thing to work? Or do we just need to actually fix and replace that thing? Hmm. <laughs> you're talking about this with the with the gang you've gathered right Piper, yeah Vincent, I, I bring and it up to, like, what do we do here 
I mean, I'm definitely thinking that, you know, I'm, I'm definitely talking to Tarkov. I'm talking to the gearhead. If Piper's around and Ma's around, you know, I'd be talking to him too. Uh, Wait, uh, so you're telling me that uh, some of the some of uh, Alcazar's uh, people are missing? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Hmm. How bizarre, Alcazar. <laughs> So, uh, well, okay. They said that the neighbors were lizard people. Like, uh, maybe yeah. it's actually Alcazar's men. Interesting. Hmm. That's a good point. I mean, it'd be, it'd be one way of narrowing it down, right? Yeah, and I do believe the uh, Silver Egg folks said that they was not too, uh, too not too friendly. I could see Alcazar's boys shooting first. Ask me questions later. Do you think that Alcazar would start a new arc somewhere else? I don't think he has the resources for that. He might try, but I don't think he's going to do it. I don't know, but it makes me want to get to those neighbors even more now. Like, I feel like we got to go. Yeah, I think we can go there. Do we want to go through the, the Silver Egg folk group or try to go around the north? I think it's going to be bad news either way. If we go if we go north, it's rot too. It's so dangerous. Uh, Do you know a quick way through it, though? We can go We can go through it quickly, yeah. We can go through it uh, faster now that we've been there once. Yeah. You're going through the rut too again? Okay. <laughs> well, it's, how many, it's like, what, 45 either, minutes to go through there, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Well, either that every or... Hour. Yeah, yeah. Either that or we go around, um, but I'm thinking if we approach even the remote like area that the silver egg is in, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get into talks. And that's <laughs> you know I like talking. I I probably talk too much like all the time, but uh, I have a feeling that we're not gonna make it. You know, because we'll be caught up in whatever we're doing with them. Violent dogs will murder us. No, I just think it's going to be like negotiations and stuff. Well, maybe so, they know more about those uh, new neighbors. I mean, we can't hurt, I think, to go to talk to them. We got to deal with them eventually. Okay. I mean, I'm not against it. I just, you know, thought I'd bring it up that it may slow us down. But uh, they're nice. Well, they haven't tried to kill us yet, so uh, I'll give them that. Strangely nice. One of them joined your gang? Yeah, Patron. He's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I love patrons. I mean, Patron. <laughs> yeah, Patron. Yeah, he's a good guy. Them cultists. They're fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Right, so, oh, it finally got yeah. me. Wow. Whew, that took a while. You had to spell that out. <laughs> Um, familiar thank you so much for the cheer yes thank very you very much appreciated uh, so uh yeah do we want to run by the silver egg first and and do it um or do we want to wanna cut right through the rot rot too you're not wrong it is it takes an hour to get bombarded with the rot and it's going to take 45 minutes now to make your way through there as long as everything goes well as long as there's no 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 ugly right yeah, so as as bumping around i'm not a i'm not opposed to going thing. around um because I of what like happened eggs. last time <laughs> can we look at the big egg okay <laughs> I'm fine with that because uh, right. I don't want it to drag your asses back again for like well, a third time you're gonna have to <laughs> and then we can ask them why they're why they're in our ark why, why is the egg not big enough for them all it's a good point Piper yeah there's an egg well, boss, yeah, it's an excellent question. <laughs> <laughs> What's the call here, Sonny? We're going to the uh, we're going to the egg, silver egg. And so we're gonna go mean, so going directly to west and then west again. Right. Maybe you can talk more into joining your game and can like start poaching them. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I might poach them. Nice. We're going in this direction, right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Two birds from the stone. Oh, so guys, it's, well, it's only half 10 feet. We can make that. 
All right. Cool. So let's set out. You're heading back out into the cold, blistery winter. You're uh, you're skirting around the lake this time and sticking to the shoreline. Uh, I'm going to get you to make me another roll there, Tarkov. Find the path? Yes, please. All right. You're made for you've never failed one of these. Let's see. Is this is there a first I think time I I think I have failed it. Oh, okay. No, because you always get the jump on whatever you you've encountered, and that's what it basically does. This is embarrassing. Is isn't find the path my wits? <laughs> it's like you're it's what you're built for. I know. Uh, I never asking, wrote it down. Do you have me. Oh. Um it's my specific talent, but I never wrote down what it's connected to, which is embarrassing. Uh, so I'm one second. Okay, I'm, is... I'm, I'm flipping to talents also. Um... Thank you. Yeah. No, the zone is wits. It is wits. No, 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 no. That's no the zone. Find the path is different. Find the path. Oh, find the path. Sorry. What are you? Uh, it's uh... agility. It's agility. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, so just so right, I'm gonna write that down it. real quick. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't failed it yet. It's the first um, time for everything. That's embarrassing. Uh, I know this place like the back of my hand. Oh, that's new. Um, <laughs> so, bam. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. You pass. Just wow, barely. Do you want to re-roll that and get to take some damage? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it safe. Although I think... I'm going to play it safe just from the last game. Okay. I'm all, I'm all nervous. Yeah. Tark- so you got- Tarkov's sort of like pussyfooting around yeah tarkov you pick up on the trail from last time and you guys keep following it and it seems like you're doing pretty good and you're okay and you're making good time um <laughs> tarkov go ahead and make me a know the zone roll actually a scouted roll make me a scouting roll scout all right yep so I don't have that, so it's just going to be at my base three. Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> You're like, yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah. You did that. Okay. And uh, bear with me here. How many successes did you get? Two. Two. Wow, look at yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's the, it's the first great <laughs> roll I've had. Uh, what are we using? We're just using the advanced roller. That's like the easiest thing. For, that's what I've been using. It's just much easier. You just auto, or you just, instead of auto calculating, you just put your own stuff in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Oh, and I got two also. Uh oh. Uh, you sense that there's something nearby. You sense that there's something watching you, following you. Uh, can I get a the sense of my surroundings? Like, sure. There, so there, you guys there... are, you guys are, the way you're going, you're skirting the, um, the edge of the lake there are some trees around you um it is it's lightly treed area otherwise it's also quite open as you're going along the shore of the of the lake okay um so i'm gonna play it cool and i'm gonna sidle up to sunny uh if i can get up to everyone i'll do that but i'm gonna sidle up to sunny and sort of in hushed tones uh let him know that i think we're being followed um, ah, sort of, follow you say, huh? Yeah, and then sort of make make eyes, not <laughs> not eyes, but uh, <laughs> sort of indicate the same thing to Vin and uh, Piper. I'd like to use my mutant power. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, to track, uh, so I want to be able to, you know, just take a nice sniff in of the air, see if I can uh, smell any animals, anything like that, humans, mutants, anything on anything on the air. Yeah, so you, you burn a mutant point for that, and it just uh, tells you what it like. What's it called that you're doing? It's called uh, tracker, I believe. Tracker. It was on page seventy something the okay. last no, time. No, I have I the mutant powers here in front of me, and you're what? Follow the trail, sense an enemy sneaking up on you. Yep. Smell grubs. You want to sense an enemy, so every mutant point you use knocks out one success rolled by them. So I rolled two successes. I mean, I got mutant points, so I'll do one. If they try to do something, I'll do another. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you you uh, you pick up the scent of something, but you're not too sure where it is or what you're sensing. 
but you know that there is something nearby. Um, how many are there? There's four it, of you. Yeah. Now, um, did I hear that, or is that just between the two of them? Like what uh, Tarkov said. Uh, well, I I sort of tried to. I don't know if I said it out loud, but I tried to indicate to you guys that we're being followed. Uh, could I like? Per perhaps make a scout roll? Is that what that's used for? You could make a scout roll. Um, that's fine. Okay. While you're doing that, though, mm -hmm. Piper, you can hear what sounds like dogs barking nearby. Only you seem to to hear it. Uh, well, as, as far as you know, like maybe I don't know if you'd say anything to anybody else, but you you hear dogs. The other three of you, you don't hear dogs barking. Uh, my ears are gonna kind of twitch around, like cat like, and uh, I'll mention it to the group. Ironically, neighbors' dogs barking. Yeah, I, mean, I know, right? I was like, whose yeah, dogs barking? That's here. perfect. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy good. Yeah, <laughs> that's not me. I'm not playing a sound here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna even if I'm not saying it, I'm gonna pull my gun out. Just, just to, and, and, you know, it's loaded just so I'm, so I'm locked and loaded. There's a grouping of like three or four trees nearby and you're hearing the barking coming from the other side of the trees, Piper. I'll relay that to the group. I did want to note that I am going to bring Baloo with me since he's new. You've got a uh, bear with you? Yeah. He's, he, yeah. I think I described him as a, uh. A large and furry, or a huge and furry kind of bear. So I don't think NPCs actually get, you know, mutant powers or animal powers, but that's just descriptions. He's a big old bear. He's got a big old, I don't think it was an axe. Oh, so, he's not like a four legged bear. He's a mutant bear. He's like, he's like, he's a, a Piper. mutant bear. A bear man. Exactly. Right. So yeah, Piper, you're hearing this barking coming from nearby around the tree line uh nobody else is hearing this though and piper's ears have perked up and she's she's talking about it um uh, uh oh Tar sorry tarkov suddenly you're looking in the direction of the tree line and you can see um a zone ghoul just kind of shuffle out from the tree line in front of you when, when you say shuffling, is he, like, looking at his phone, or is he, like, actively coming up towards <laughs> he's, us? He's just, he's just shuffling out of the bushes. He's not looking at you. He's just coming out of the trees, the grouping of trees, and just, like, just like out into the things, open. Just other like, things are on uh, his mind. Moaning, yeah. yeah. So just, like, every day he's shuffling. Yeah, every day he's every shuffling. Day he's shuffling. <laughs> this worries me because there's a bunch of dogs. Uh, and and Tarkov, group. you're the only one who sees this. Oh, I am? Yep. Uh, okay. Would, would, uh, all right. I'm going to drop to a crouch. I assume, are we starting combat? Can I choose to start I don't, combat? Do you want to start combat? Not really. Uh, but if, <laughs> but if I'm giving the option to, sh like, how far away is he, uh, in combat terms? It is one zone away from you because everything's in zones, right? So yeah, it is one um, zone up from you. You're standing at the edge of the tree line and this thing mm -hmm. is just like come out of the trees. Like one zone up. Uh, all right, so sorry guys, this is absolutely my fault. Uh, I'm gonna drop to a crouch and then uh, aim and then shoot as okay. far. <laughs> all right, bear with me here. Let me combat goes. Let me do some stuff here. Uh... So we've got. <laughs> so it starts. <laughs> And this so map, it begins. I, I feel awful, but like... It's a familiar map. Recycling yeah. map. So we got a tree line here. We got the group of you. Uh, let's get a, a zombie or ghoul shuffling out that only Tarkov sees. Oh uh, boy. Tarkov <laughs> readies his weapon and z at his own ghoul. <laughs> Make it a punk zone ghoul. Uh, nice. It's, it's one range band away, so it pops out of the trees over there. And uh, the noise of the dogs is coming from back here somewhere. They're, they're your neighbor's dog. Perfect. That's great. Perfect timing. Let's add you all to turn order. And it, what is the initiative again? I always forget. 
I think. Is there a button on the thing? There is a button. It's at the very top left. Damn. I mean, technically, I would have initiative, wouldn't I? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, this okay. thing's okay. this thing. Like, you can fire. Uh, but we'll put everybody into initiative after that. You've got the drop. Ah, uh, shit. You know, <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> what? You haven't rolled yet, have you? I don't see the roll. No, I haven't. No, but I already declared what I wanted to do. So I gotta adjust this map so our folks watching can see what is happening here. So, um, you guys should be able to fill in your initiative on the turn order for whatever reason it didn't populate. So we're actually in the trees, not not at you're, the edge of them. Well, you're at the edge. Of the, you're anywhere in this zone. You're at the tree line. Anywhere in this zone, wherever you want to be. You hear the dogs barking from over here. This thing has just wandered out from one zone. Oh, it still can't see it on. i got to zoom out for the stream. One zone away, this thing has wandered, wandered out of the trees, and it's not even looking at you. It's just shuffling along. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so what, to, what do you want to do, Tarkov? Well... I said I was going to sort of crouch down and brace myself and aim and shoot. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be agility five plus my shoot of two. Um, do I get the bonus for aiming? I think it's like a plus one. Yeah. 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 If you're using one of your actions to do that. Yeah. Where do we, where do we add our bonus like dice? Uh, put it on your skill dice, please. Because okay. if you re-roll, you're not gonna like it's. You're not gonna get a negative. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And then my gun gives me one. I want to say my scrap rifle. Yeah, one bonus day. <laughs> I'm like, why do you keep asking me this stuff? I don't know. <laughs> sorry. Sure. Uh, it's, sure. It's this. Sure, Ken. It's this. Sorry. No, it gives I, you I'm, one if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I I do this all the time. I'm it's like, all I good. Like it's all good. Stuff. All right. There it is. All right. So all of a sudden, Tarkov drops to the ground. Aims his crossbow and pfft, lets loose, loose a bolt, and it goes flying through the air. Uh, it's a scrap, and, scrap rifle. Scrap rifle. I'm sorry. Pfft, oh, it lets out a big boom, boom. A big loud gunshot. Yeah. That's right. You yeah. guys all turn around. And you're like, "What the hell is Tarkov doing?" And Tarkov can fire, <laughs> and it goes right through this thing. And it uh, it seems to disappear. You before your eyes and you continue to hear the barking everybody else is like what are you doing do you see something I, I don't know I could have sworn I just saw a zone ghoul uh, but I'm not so sure now huh did any of you see that well I saw I you I'm sure but uh I think we should uh, try to find a place to hide. Uh, uh, on that, uh, I guess Vinny will try to crouch down and hide somewhere. Well, it's Pep. We're, we're in. We're in um, initiative order. So Piper, oh, yeah. you're up first. What do you want to do? All right. Question: Is my my initiative supposed to be three or eight? Your initiative is supposed to be, where's your roll here? Three. Okay. I'm still at top. <laughs> uh, if it's three, uh, then I get to go before you. I, I have a, a question real quick. Um, when you said disappeared, do you actually mean like disappeared? It just fizzled and did thin air. Oh, okay. Okay, good. That's what I want to make sure. Um, suddenly, you hear some laughing. From the Absolutely. bushes, and you hear like a horn, honk, 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 like a a bicycle <laughs> horn honking, and My um, fear. <laughs> and uh, oh, I did, I did load a picture up. Are you kidding? Uh, I thought I did. You see this thing wearing this plastic mask over its face, laughing maniacally, hop out of the bushes and rush towards you, Piper, with these like rusty daggers. Yeah. <laughs> And it's laughing maniacally, rushing <laughs> out at you. And it's going to attempt to uh, stab you with its daggers. Fantastic. <laughs> as, it, as, it, as it runs out into the... Uh, all right. Uh, so what is my... 
Now I gotta I gotta figure out my character sheet. Where's my fight? Uh <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh Tarkov. <laughs> All right, three. Uh, skill is three. Gear bonus one. All right, so this thing rushes out and lunges at you and stabs you with one of its rusty daggers, and it's laughing maniacally from behind this mask. Ooh, and it's honking this horn. <laughs> <laughs> as it's doing so <laughs> i'd like to try to defend myself from this uh crazy person yeah yeah you can you haven't gone yet so you can use one of your actions to try and defend yourself okay from this maniacal crazy painted face horn honking thing you could see if it does any damage to you because maybe it's not real <laughs> The honking sounds real. <laughs> so do the dogs. And the, the honking oh, is real enough. <laughs> and so so and so did the ghoul that Tarkov saw. You still hear mm -hmm. the barking, Piper, from behind the bushes. Just you. <laughs> uh yeah, I'm still gonna try to defend. Okay. That's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this thing stabs you with one of its rusty knives, and it twists and turns it inside of you. And uh, you take two points of damage. Ah, boy. <laughs> now it's your turn, Piper. Yeah. It's got like a bandolier of blades. It's just got blade and a belt covered in these rusty blades as well. So it's it's in no shortage of, of daggers. Scrap knives, as they're called. Oh, boy. Shivs. Shivs, if you will. <laughs> I'm gonna back away as far as I can go, so I'm assuming the next zone over. This is like my uh, my Halloween encounter. Let's get some music going. Even though it's after Halloween. Nice. That's fine. Still sure, go spirit. for it, P Piper. It's a season. Tis the season. Yeah. Piper, back away. You're you're on a different zone, but you guys were adjacent. You were my target because you were like next to the zone, so I was like, oh, Piper. Wrong place, wrong time. I'm liking the John Carpenter vibes. <laughs> yeah, right? I should be safe back here, right? Yeah. Sure. sure. No one's safe. Uh, do you want to do anything else in turn? So that's your move action. Do you want to shoot or anything? Or do you want to use a, uh, a, a feline power? Uh, I don't think I can because I defended already, right? Right. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being honest. Vinny! This thing has popped out and it's like got a bloody knife in its hand and it's brandishing and waving it at you and laughing maniacally and honking its little bike horn. <laughs> Enough with that noise! Uh, so I'm gonna uh, place my hand to my head. I'm gonna point at it and uh, I'm going to try and uh, terrorize it with my uh, mutant powers. I'm going to um, confuse him uh, for hmm, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna go for confusion and I'm thinking either three or four but I'm not sure so let's go with four so um, mind terror uh, however many mutant points I spend that's how much confusion I give them so one two three four is it too loud for you there Ken uh, it's just a little bit you can lower it on your end as well if you click on the cog. I believe there's a oh, master what? music volume. You can lower the music on your end. Everybody Didn't can do it that. individually. Sorry about that. No, it's all good. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. Um, he suffers four points of uh, confusion, and then I just need to make a, a roll. <laughs> and four points of confusion? What does that do to him? What does that hit him? Uh, hang on just a moment. Let's see what happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you got to roll. Yeah. Oh, I would need to roll for my mutant power as well, right? Oh, yeah, you used your schnoz. <laughs> I got a one. His super schnoz. 
Okay. <clears throat> so let's finish Adam's. Adam rolled a one. So he has to yes. roll on the on the table. I have I have the mutations chapter open in front of me, so roll me a D6, please. Yeah, so finish that us. is where do I find that? Something Just a regular old D6. Yeah. Where do I find a regular old D6? Oh you can if it's on the character sheet on the left hand side, there's on the left hand side. D20 icon. Click on that and it'll open up a dice roller for you. Or you can just do slash R space D6 in the chat. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, your mutant powers run amok! And you suffer <laughs> one point of permanent trauma. You choose which attribute is affected. At the same time, you develop a new mutation. Do you oh, want to man. take the one that you previously rolled? Oh, Before yes, roll. absolutely. Yes, um, I want Parasite. I really do. Yeah, I'm happy. Not so happy about <laughs> losing that point of empathy. I'm just going to dock off here. But uh, So it's yeah. off, right? Death. No matter what, your mutation always succeeds, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. that happens, but you drop to the ground screaming, Aah! and I don't yes. know if anything physical manifests yes, in your does. mutation. Oh, yes. right, right. Go um, ahead. Explain. Yes. yes. So as I'm as I'm screaming, my, my mouth All gets right. wider and wider as... Um, both sides of my mouth split as my jaw unhinges and you see all this uh, um, viscera. Uh, no, no, not, not not like that. It just splits one way. Oh. You see all this viscera like still holding it together and then um, you see like a proboscis or something. I don't know how to pronounce that. But, uh, oh, like um, a mosquito? Like a... Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, it comes out of uh, my mouth from underneath my tongue. And uh, then I grow these large, like, uh, fangs on both sides uh, so as to, like, hold on to a victim or something like that. And then, um, like, I close my uh, mouth and then it kind of seals back together, but not all the way. <laughs> you guys all looking at, like, Vinny, like, what the hell is going on? Nah, He's Tarkov, like, Tarkov, like, nods knowingly and he's like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool, bro. <laughs> He's pretty, um, he's like, yeah, yep. Let's roll for Sunny. Sunny, you only use one point, right? Right, I only use the one point. So just roll me a single d6. So your, oh, your mutation consumes twice the amount of MP you intend to spend it on without increasing the effect. Uh, you can't drop below zero. So it costs you two instead of one. Cool. Cool. <laughs> um, so what does the confusion do to this guy? Sorry. Yeah, so... Um, it affects his uh, um, wits, um, and I'm hoping to break him. <laughs> I don't know how many wits he's got, so um, I was banking on he wouldn't have five. Uh, yeah, he... you you broke him. He drops okay. the ground, holding his head, <laughs> ah, rolling as, around, uh, laughing, uh, and he's like, "As uh, I'm gonna make him believe that he's hearing honking when <laughs> he's not squeaking it, and when he squeaks the horn, the honking stops." <laughs> you're sick. You're like, messed up. Yeah, you confuse are him. <laughs> that reminds me of one of the uh, my favorite. You're one crazy honky. My favorite. <laughs> that's what she said. Jokes from the office, and it was like it squeaks when you bang it. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so he's on the ground, holding his head, clutching his head, and oh, the honking! Oh, and it's, he's laughing and in pain, and uh, yeah, you've. You've you've disabled him. Uh, what was what was once a threatening encounter? He's now rolling in the snow, helpless. Uh, what do you want to do to this thing? Tarkov's gonna give two thumbs up slowly to uh, Vin, but he's gonna raise them super slowly. Uh, maybe you can give him a crew to jaw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vinny's gonna. Be uncharacteristically quiet for a little while. Uh, that jobs. makes sense. Gotta get used to that new mouth, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, does anybody have any like silent weapons that we can sort of, as as Sunny put it, uh, if I have God. my uh, bear guy with me, he's got. Uh, it was, I believe it was a spiked bat, is what I bought him. Ooh. So he could uh, bash get this to, guy's brains in. Yeah, get to your bloody work then. You want to borrow my bow? Or you, you can just shoot him. Just shoot him. Beat him with the bow. Victory. 
But then you'd have to get your arrow back. Yeah. Eh. In one way or another, we can so finish this guy off. This thing. So you're just gonna go over there and just kill him? Absolutely. There's, there's, there's literally no reason to have something like that alive. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you go over this thing. It's rolling around, and uh, however you kill it, I, would, I don't know what you want to do. Uh, it's, it's broken. So there's no way for it to defend itself. Breaking well, further. <laughs> let's, let's, let's have our bear guy Gallagher that thing. And we're good people. Gallagher. Yeah, we're good. We're great people. <laughs> I, I oh don't... man, there's the '70s reference. We're talking about this before the game. Yeah, yeah. I I wow. just don't. I, I don't think there's. I, there's literally like, if you want to talk about one of the most evil things, like people pretty much agree, like a crazy murder clown. Oh, I thought you were talking about Gallagher. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> no. Everyone hates Gallagher. No, uh, I just meant the murder clown. There's no reason to like keep it alive. <laughs> All I mean, right. I, I rolled for the guy. He, I mean, he's got one success. I don't know if he needs, like, multiple to actually nope, kill this guy. No, this the guy, he's helpless. You don't even need to okay. roll. You just go over there and just bash his brains in. Like, he's he's broken. Um, So you order Baloo to go over there and just smash his head in? He yep. shrugs. All right, boss. Right? And wanders oh. over, shuffles over, and does it. And there's just a bloody yeah. mess left in the snow with this, this clown. Do you and then uh, Sonny will go over and uh, check out the body. Yeah, 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 definitely. So, like I said, on him there is a there's a hockey mask. Sick. Which is actually an artifact in the book. Ooh. What? what? <laughs> so Crazy had, Bones had an artifact? <laughs> yeah, an artifact on him. He's carrying a hockey mask. So you say he was carrying the bare necessities? Oh, no, that was his... That was blue. <laughs> uh, no, so he, he got a hockey bare, mask. Bare violent necessities he's got a bandolier covered in scrap knives and like a belt and scrap knives we'll say there's like a dozen in total scrap knives that he's got on him he's got his little honking horn and um <laughs> he's got bear with me here i roll a d666 is that on my character sheet is that on the character sheet the d666 yeah, it's... I can't remember if this one had it or not. I don't think this six, one does. Six, six. No, it's the number six, six. of the beast. Nice, yeah. Sacrifice is going on tonight. All right, three hundred and twenty-three. Ah, uh, you find a small bag of grass seeds. <laughs> That's yes. scrap. He's got scrap. It's scrap. He's got on him. Uh, amongst the knives, the hockey mask, you also find a uh, a small bag of grass seeds. On nice. Yeah, and you peel the mask off, and underneath is this hideous painted face. His 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 mouth is all cut up. His face is all cut up. And he's got this like paint smeared all over him, and this this bright red phony nose underneath uh, underneath the mask. And he's just uh, he's died with a permanent grin on his face. See, he's happy. Uh, what a joker. Yeah, what a joker. Can, can the goalie mask be the, the Mike Palmatier one? The goalie mask? I don't know if you follow hockey. It's like the it's like the old... Uh, the hockey uh, helmet is what it is in the book? There's a hockey helmet, but helmet? there's also a hockey mask. And I know it's listed in oh. the books, and I don't have it in front of me. I can't remember which one it's in, but there is a hockey mask listed in something, and I need to mm. find it, because I do... It is specific. I think it might be an alpha. I'll check alpha real quick. Um... Yeah, it might be Genla of Alpha, which is the one book I don't have in front of me, but there is a hockey mask as an artifact in one of these damn things. I do see it listed, but I need is to it? find it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it is an Alpha. So that creature yep. I actually took I got from it. the Reddit, and I want to thank uh, Jeremy's Brain. He created that, and he's the guy who runs Reddit over there, and I actually used this. I thought it'd be appropriate that we use this around Halloween, so we used a creature created over on the... Uh, the Mutineer Zero Reddit. It was a neat little creature. It was very creepy. Neat yeah. Creature. He had it would have been cool. He had Corpse Eater and... Um, Corpse Eater and what was the mind thing he was using on you? Mind, mind terror, terror or something? Yeah. Uh, is what I, he was I, using I, on you. Immediately when you were like, he disappeared, I was like, ah, that son of a bitch is Mind Terror. <laughs> yeah, yeah mind, mind Terror and Corpse Eater. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you. that's why... Okay, so, so that explains why... Uh, 
you know, Vinny had to be like, no, this is how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you no, I, him. Yeah. I, I didn't say so, but I recognized that right away. And it was like, no, no, this is not happening. Yeah. That was really cool. That was cool. <laughs> I found Hosky mask. It's a bone colored face mask made from tough plastic. Oh, you did. Okay, cool. So yeah, uh, armor rating three, but only against melee attacks. Looks frightening. Gear bonus plus one to manipulate, intimidate, and dominate. Oh man, you should totally wear that. <laughs> I'll so wear it for the manipulate bonus. Yeah. So does does Vinny need to comprehend so, that though to figure out how to use it? Oh <laughs> yeah, I, I'll make a comprehend. <laughs> right, because it is an artifact, so you need to understand it to use it. Are you doing it? You want me to? I mean, I think we agreed before that anyone who wants to take a look at it can try to figure it out. So okay. if you want to take a look at it, we'll both sit there and be like, "Hey, um, what's this? Let's thing? see here. Yeah. It's so I only got a blood on the inside, and it smells." Terrible. I got it. Okay. Uh... <laughs> it's funny you're looking at. It, you're like, I know what this is. <laughs> I've seen one of these before. Oh, got it. So one understand. success. As I'll put it on my face. One success means that he figures it <laughs> out, right? That he understands right, how yeah. to use it. Yes, I understand how can. to use it. So but I don't have enough. Yeah. Slides it on and looks at the rest of you from behind this. Like it's kind of like chipped away and beaten up and bloodied. Now we got to go out and buy a hockey mask before all the Halloween stores close. <laughs> to wear nice. on stream. Yeah, that's right. Get to wear on stream. Oh, and uh, Sunny proudly wears and displays this thing. Oh, did you push? Yeah. Vinny? Yeah, so you, you also comprehend what uh, what this thing is and what it's what it can be used for. Okay. Uh, what's it do? Well, you, took, you took three damage there. Woof. <laughs> woof. <Took two>. Woof. <laughs> I like Mike's right. Woof. You don't take damage for skill dice. <clears throat> I took two. Uh, yeah, right. you don't you're, take any You're right. Skill. Sorry. Yeah. Buzz, your girlfriend. Woof. <laughs> so what's it do? Jen had the stats. Jen's the one who found them. It's in uh, Discord. It does okay. plus one to warfare. Like just... Awesome. All right, so I'm going to move you back to the map, and I've got a little Tarkov the Stalker icon on the map now to track so everybody knows where we're at. Uh, Both who are just... watching and you guys. It's just uh, so... armor rating 3-2. And then it for, looks frightening. Just so I can say it out loud, uh, I'm gonna put an, I'm gonna reload my gun, so I don't have to reload it. Gotcha. Back. All right. So the his loud, thunderous gun has been reloaded. Oh yeah. Do I'll we still hear the dogs? Over. No, the dogs oh, that only Piper heard have disappeared now with the laughing. Oh, okay. Those were the mind, laughing mind dogs. Those are brain doggos. I see an Amazon link in the chat, and I don't know what that is. Uh, that's for Mutant Year Zero. Oh, okay. That's in our chat. Yep. Did you mean to put um, them? Uh... Well, I don't know if I have the ability to drop links in. You should. Oh. You should. Um, okay. Yes, it is like a Jason Voorhees style hockey mask. We're gonna go with that. I think that's cooler. Ooh. Yeah. Put oh, a link Ken in wants, for the Ken Discord. Wants modern hockey mask. Uh, and uh, and there you go. There's a link. There's a link. If you want to buy Mutant Year Zero. Boom, there's the link. That's our affiliate link on Amazon. Check it out, buy it, help out the channel. Thank you. <laughs> and, and free leak. <laughs> and free leak. Yes, it also yeah. helps out free leak, obviously. You're buying their product. Uh, Sunny, does this thing look like a Voorhees mask or is this like a modern hockey mask? Uh, so from the image that's in the Discord, uh, it looks like, I don't know what the differences are, so I'm not sure. Like Jason? <laughs> Uh, like Jason, the, yeah. The picture looks like Jason, like Jason Voorhees. Yeah, like Jason, yeah. Uh, and and Ken really wants us to Google Mike Pelm Pelm the Terror. I'm gonna do it. It right does if, if 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 nobody's like a hockey fan, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's a Toronto Maple Leafs helmet. You just like that yeah. style of helmet, though. No, his his goalie helmet was sick. It's like a thing. Like goalies, you know, there's a bunch of different ones from different yeah, goalies. Everyone, well, I, everyone has I, their favorite, you know. There you go. I'm not a Malay, I'm not a now. Maple Leafs fan. I'm a Montreal Canadiens fan, so I hate it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a Blues I fan because I'm originally from St. Louis. We're rivals. 
Um, yeah, whatever you want it to look like. It does look like a Jason Voorhees mask in the picture, though. Oh, no, he definitely wants that. Because that's intimidating. It is intimidating. It is intimidating. Okay, cool. So it's got some blood. It's got paint nice. smeared on it from the clown also, we'll say. Maybe it's got uh, maybe a, a phony uh, clown's paint kind of smeared all over it. And it's kind of caked away <laughs> and chipped away and... Like when you pull it off on the inside, it's a like a smiley face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on the inside, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it smells really good. <laughs> it smells like. And you're like, this is you're like this is weird. <laughs> it's like minty fresh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay, cool. So you guys have cleared that zone, and you head on into the next zone. I'm gonna get you to make me another roll, please, Tarkov, as you head into another zone. All right, let's do this. One second. No gear bonus. No gear bonus. And bam! You're good. All right, this is a rot level of one in this zone as well. So you guys aren't too, too concerned about what you're encountering here. We that. just moved the stay egg. the night. We, we pushed the egg over. Right. So you only took uh, you only took forty five minutes in the last one, but it's going to take four hours Oof. to move through this one. So this might be actually the first time that you guys are away from your arc overnight. We'll see what happens. This is uh, this is interesting. Uh, when do we check for grub and water? Have we talked about that yet? We haven't because you guys haven't been away long enough. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. You guys are always like one hex away or one square away, and it's never come <laughs> up because you're always back at the arc. Uh, when it's time to to eat, yeah, our, our misadventures <laughs> lead us back to the ark right away. Yeah, you mean like, our, oh, our, our heroic a... our heroic adventures? This is yeah, a scary place. Let's go back. Uh... <laughs> All right, we had our one fight. We're done for the day. Let's go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we got to go rest for eight hours so we can get our spells back. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's never come up because you guys are always you guys are always um always back. So, you guys start wandering this zone, and you come across. You can see in the distance on the edge of, uh, on the edge of just off of the lake, a little ways in. Uh, as you make your way through this zone, you do see you see this big, silver, almost egg-shaped dome thing sitting there. You're a ways away. You're 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 quite a bit a ways out, and you can see them before they see you. That's because you passed your roll, and you can also see a whole bunch of tents set up around this thing and you could see the silhouettes of people milling about outside this quote unquote silver egg so uh what do you want to do oh uh i'd like to get a good count of uh how many tents i see uh there are like six tents but they're large tents. It looks like there's uh there'd be quite a few people that could be sleeping in in any of them. Remember, you encountered like what a dozen of these guys that were milling about already. Yeah. And you can see a, a lot of people, a lot of bodies milling about. From this distance, you can make out oh probably like twenty, twenty five milling about play... outside this egg. Egg, I see in quotes. <laughs> Is the plan to uh, to powwow with these with this group of people that we we sort of already know their deal, or we're we gonna keep moving through this area? Are we gonna like? Do you want to avoid the here? silver egg? Um, I mean, part of me says yes, part of me says no. Uh, if I, I don't know if I can look that far, but do I see any like dolphin people or whale people? Because I want to judge their intents and porpoises. <laughs> Oh, groan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Mike. <laughs> the cat and me really enjoyed that one. Yeah. There are no dolphin or fish people from what you can see back here. You do see a very large, intimidating moose person, though, milling about. Oh, boy. Listen, uh, part of me thinks it might just be best to go and say hello uh, and then move on rather than uh, stumble upon them and have them not know us. 
so hand hands raised, you know. You like know, just black. don't have your weapons drawn, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll tell them <laughs> uh, Patron sent us. He told us of the way. All right. So we uh, we're gonna make our way down there. Is that what we're saying, everybody? Uh, I'm gonna be towards the back, but yeah, sure. Yeah, actually, Tarkov's also gonna head to the back. I, I would I would argue he's probably the least friendly out of the, the four of us. Mm. You gonna send the guy with the hockey mask in uh, the lead? It's a powerful look, you know. <laughs> uh, Strutting up, he's wearing like yeah. a, uh, like a, a power a suit on yeah. top of his rot suit and on top big, of his armor, he's got like a, a pastel suit on. Yeah, he's got a big red tie. Yeah. With a hockey mask in a briefcase. Yeah. In a briefcase, because he's a businessman. <laughs> and he means business. Yeah, what are you so. keeping there? Oh, my, pay- my business yeah. papers. Yeah. I mean, I have a, lot, a lot of reports. What's going on? Things here? for just in case. Uh-huh. And his credence. There you go. All right. So you're just going to stroll up on this place? uh yeah i mean does it seem like there's a certain path like a road or something that leads yeah to there it? is yeah. a road that meanders up there and like it, it's a well used path there yeah there are people uh exactly a power suit with a hockey mask ensemble that's perfect that's what sunny is boffering um <laughs> there's a well used path there are people milling about well you know the cultists have talked and spoken of people making a pilgrimage out to the silver egg to see zacharias and his his wonders or zachariah i should say and yeah, so you can walk up the path. As you get closer, you see there's this large silvery cone that's like just sitting there. It's sitting almost in a like a crater that it's sitting in. And, and you said uh, it's like an egg or a cone. Sorry. Well, it's shaped like an uh, more like a cone, but they call it an egg. Use your use your fingers and draw it for me. <laughs> How about like this on stream? Can you see? Perfect. It? It's like a, kind yes. of like a triangle. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, That's but helpful. the, but it's the, the cultists say that they refer to it in the zone stalkers refer to it as an egg specifically, and it's silver in color. Hmm. So you guys, uh, make your way up close to this thing and, uh, there's people milling about, there's mutants, there's animals, there's no robots here. Uh, and you don't see any humans from what you can tell, but they're milling about the camp area and they're dressed a whole bunch of them are dressed like those cultists that you encountered. And there are people that are in regular garb as well, uh, milling about and looks like they're just kind of daily life and tend to this camp and, and, and they're worshiping in front of this, uh, this egg or cone. Uh, there's an altar out front that a bunch of them are kind of sitting in front of and kneeling and praying and giving thanks to and. Yeah, you guys make your way up into into this camp, and right away you're you go ahead. No, you're good. Sorry, I don't know. I'm gonna. Uh, you're you're approached by that giant moose. Starts shuffling forward to where you towards you. You notice that he's he's using like a big stick to kind of move forward, and he gets closer and closer, and uh, it looks like he is um quite far along, suffering from rot. Like like patchy fur or like... patchy fur falling off kind of like a, if you ever seen an animal with like m- like mange or mange, whatever he looks yeah. kind of like that um where's the picture there's a picture big old moose guy cool patchy fur kind of really ragged looking and he shuffles over he goes uh, greetings are you here to see the oracle yeah, we heard from uh, some cultists, uh, Patron uh, in particular, about uh, this place. Oh, are they okay? We haven't heard from them in a few days. Oh yeah, they're just uh, a few days east. Uh, so, they're doing right. But uh, we thought we'd come and uh, pay our respects. Oh, so you've heard of the good word of Zechariah. I heard a little bit about it, but his it's always nice to hear from the man himself. Oh, perhaps you'll be blessed and see visions of the future like some of us have. Ah. All right. Well, uh, let's get to cracking uh, sure. this egg. <laughs> if you, he points to the altar. He goes, if you leave a sacrifice of some food or water or grub or anything, uh, then Zachariah will possibly give you a prophecy and show you a vision of the future if you're lucky. 
Uh, Tarkov's got a bunch of water. Uh, so he holds up some some water, and he's like, would, would this do? Oh, very good. Yes, we'd be very thankful for that. Yeah, I'll, well, somebody will place uh, some grub on the uh, altar, because everyone loves grub, right? Everyone loves grub. True. So he shuffles over to you, and he I am Gregless. I am, I am the guardian of the egg, and these are my guardian, or I'm the, 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 the lead guardian. And these are my guardians. And he points to the others who are dressed like the cultists that you encountered. We look after the egg and we tend to it. And we welcome in uh, people like you who have made a pilgrimage to, uh, to, to, to worship Zachariah and his egg. Uh, my name's Sonny, due to my disposition. And uh, these are my fellow companions. Uh, this is Baloo. Uh, and then I'll introduce everyone else in turn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then so just making the introductions. And, and I, uh, we are the house. Well, I am the house. The house. Oh. But I shall record this. And he hobbles around the altar. And behind the altar is like an old desk. And he sits down at it. And he leans his walking stick next to him. And he pulls out, he opens up one of the, the drawers. And he pulls out a ledger. And he adjusts the, the glasses that are propped on his head. And he goes, uh, the house. And you said your name was Sonny? And he starts recording it in his book. Right. Exactly. Very good. And to the rest of you, uh, what are your names? My name is Vinny. Vinny. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, actually, to strangers, it's Vincent. Write down Vincent. Vincent, yes, yes. Okay, and you? He looks uh, to you, I'm, Piper. I'm Piper Proudfoot. Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. Very good. It is good to see another one who has escaped the lab, such as myself. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, so, Tarkov, you gave a offering, and so did Sunny? Yes. Yep. Water and grub. So he takes so, them and... So- he, he puts What's them going in a, on with this offer? In a big metal chest next to him. He opens it up and you can see some scrap and some other items and other offerings that have been given. And he puts them in there. And uh, he opens up another drawer on the desk and he takes out, uh, he takes out a, 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 a metal plaque with the numbers etched on it. You get number 37, Tarkov, and Sonny, you get number 38. He goes, oh, hold on to this. When your number is called, you... We'll be able to go in and see <laughs> the prophet, Zachariah. Ah, oh, that's interesting. So, Tarka puts it in his mouth and tries to eat it. <laughs> yeah, it, it is not edible. Uh, he spits it out. He hates it. <laughs> Feel free to use our camps while you're here, and you can remain and stay while you wait for your number to be called uh, to meet the oracle himself. Oh, yeah. So you get a lot of visitors, huh? A lot of pilgrims? We do. The word is spreading. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. You get any from uh, up north a little bit? Any uh, new neighbors up there? Oh, we've heard of some folks to the north. There is a great metal machine that has mm, made its home there in the edge of the water. And uh, they have wandered over here. Searching for supplies and asking around, but they do not seem interested in the Oracle, so we weren't, we did not help them. A great metal machine, huh? Like, mm. does it move on its own? Like, uh, like a robot? No, it's a long metal device, and it looks like there is treads or something on the, fixed to the bottom of it, but, uh, their treads have broken. No? Uh, I'll, I'll try and suss out maybe something from that description. If uh, that rings any bells or not? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He what he describes? Uh, yeah, it's a long tube-like vehicle of some sorts that have been that has been fixed with uh, treads on the bottom. You can go ahead and make me a oh, we'll say comprehend roll. Okay. Is there any difficulty to that? No. Okay. You need to end in three minutes, don't you? 
Just about. <laughs> I got one success. One success. He describes it as long, tube-like cylinder. Uh, the, the dimensions he gives you and the shape and how there's there's a, a thing propped on top. It looks like you enter from the top and go down into. To you, it sounds like something you've heard tales of uh, known as like a submarine. But it's weird that you hear that it's been like fixed with some treads. Mm. It doesn't make sense to you. Yeah. What you describe it normally goes in the water, but it looks like they uh, put some treads to the side of it in order to um, make it go on land. Oh, very well. They aren't interested in, in the, in the Oracle or the order. So we have, we have no interactions with them. They leave us alone and we leave them alone. Yeah. 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 Okay. So speaking of the, the Oracle, uh, what number are you on now? Um, he calls out, Dania, Dania, what number are we on? And this, uh, this young mutant, uh, girl pops her head out of one of the tents and she's dressed like the cultist, but she doesn't have a mask on and she has a ledger and she pulls it out and she goes, we're on, uh, uh, 32. What number you got? 37? It's 37 to 38. Yeah, 37. Um... Can Tarkov uh, get, get like a really, I'd like to see if I can get a really good look. I'd like to sort of like uh, size up the, the egg, the silver egg thing. Um, and just, you know, sort of walk around it and see, you know, get a better look at it and like the size of it. Yeah, I guess I would do this. Yeah, I mean, because that's the big mile marker here, right? So, like, what is it? Like, I guess uh, yeah, that's I the just, big thing. I just want to get a good description of this giant silver egg obelisk thing and figure out what. Yeah, I'm like, would we be able to comprehend it? Like, what the hell do you think this thing is? Like, did it fall from the sky? I'll ask the I'll ask Greg List that. He uh, he says there there are rumors that the oracle fell from the sky. Well, it's a is big old really... crater here. I don't know how else it got. Is there any writing or anything on it? There like, is. Uh, any, there, like, are, any, like, there are there are letters. There are the letters M I M I R, written on the side, and there's a logo of a like a one, two, three, four, five, six pointed star with an I in the middle. Have we seen that? Uh, now, is it the letter I or like an like a eyeball I? It is the letter I. And you have not seen it before. Okay. M Mimer? Mimir? Yeah. Not, I don't know. <laughs> and this thing's pretty big. It's pretty large. It's much, it's the size of radius wise it's the size of like four of the tents like width around and these are large tents these are like uh, we'll say like 16 to 20 man tents this thing is pretty big have we have we seen mimar or mimar before and you have, have we not. seen that symbol okay okay no this is new to you <laughs> hello <laughs> that, was, cat. that was no that was me i was surprised <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go up and, and touch the outside of it and see what it feels like. Sure, it's if cold. This is an egg. It oh. is cold to the touch. It is oh. cold metal. And uh, as you touch it, uh, he uh, the moose wanders over, Gregless. Oh, you must give an offering if you would like to touch or go inside the chamber and wait your turn. No, I, here, here's two... Two pieces of meat I found. Ah, oh, very good, very good. He takes the grub and he wanders back and he puts it in the chest and wanders back over with the number for you and you're 39. On the front of this thing near the altar, there's a big giant hatch that's closed. It looks like it it might like fold down to open up. So the egg is hatched? Yeah, not yet. Well, not currently. Damn. You were like on top of those. Oh, uh, this that, this is Mike's forte. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, it's good. <laughs> I'm impressed. But yeah, um, 
I guess I'll just kind of like I kind of want to get a feel for yeah like the people here like sense them like uh, I, I don't currently have like an idea that like they're going to be hostile like they seem very friendly but I kind of want to take some time just to kind of get make sure that 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 feel is solid and that it's not like something covered up like those human cannibalist people. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. just real quick, does everyone look like they're suffering from the rot in the same way that the uh, no, is? they don't. Okay. No, no, no. So he's an outlier. That's a good question. Yes, okay. correct. All right. Uh, so to interrupt for just a little bit, um, I gotta get going because I gotta work. But uh, I I encourage you all keep playing without me. It's gonna destroy um, me overlay, want. Adam. The second you leave, <laughs> it's gonna destroy Sorry. me. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I mean, do you guys want to keep playing? Uh, I'm this, fine with it. Is this like a big hinge point? Should we should we pause? We so could stop here and then we could continue on next session with entering the egg. Does if you everyone... choose to do so or go north, you're kind of at a crossroads because you haven't started really what's going on here yet. Or you could choose to leave. I've got a ticket. <laughs> The the wheels uh, are in motion for what is what it, what's gonna this encounter, um, but you the, haven't really it hasn't happened yet. We're on the cusp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's up to you guys. This is a good jumping on and off point. Uh, yeah, I would I would argue for the sake of uh clarity for next game and purpose. So when we start the game, we know exactly what we're doing. That's fair. Uh, it is a good place to pick up. I know that sucks and everyone's going to yeah. but I think it's probably... The, the GM in me is like, no, this is a really good place to stop. It is a good place to stop. I think it'll be more exciting if we have everyone there next time. How is poor Ma going to get there through the wilderness? <laughs> She's just sprinting. <laughs> I think I mean, Ma... Is just like, yeah. Yeah. I think Ma, Ma could a do long it. time ago planted yeah. like a GPS tracker system into Vincent. Yeah. <laughs> Always She's... find him. She's just gonna follow my hair. No, no, no. Uh, when the when the the hatch or the port opens up, uh, <laughs> the Ma can just come through the portal. Yeah, yeah. This will right. be our first she session can, where we ended out in the. Uh, she can warp through the portal out yeah. in the zone, which is exciting. I get I get what you're doing, Adam. Don't okay. Worry. Yeah, I'm Don't no worry. Mike, but yeah, no, I get what you're saying. <laughs> um. Okay, so let's leave off there. Adam's got to go to work. Um. Which sucks, Sorry, but guys. hey, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, Talking I found out bills. about it today. That's um, it. Before you go, I can't do the 16th, so we want to look at the 9th, 23rd, or 30th for our next game. Because we'll let people know on stream right now who's here, when to come back. Uh, all of those work for me, so uh, up to you three. Four. Nine, yeah, I can, I, 30th. I can do any day. I mean, I'll be in St. Louis, but I'll have my laptop, so I'll just play from there. You're committed. Yeah, I'll play every single saturday if you want me to right so cool. um i am on call next week however if we can get jeremy to join if i got a drop then we still got four players and we can keep going um for the ninth um jane you're good for the ninth i'm good for everything okay so let's plan for next week we're gonna come back and we're gonna we're gonna pick up right where we left off it'll be nice and fresh in our minds uh 8 30 right. or yeah we'll do 8 30 well yeah 8 30 okay does that work for everyone yeah, so long as uh, you still uh, play your uh, Friday night one, though, it may be tough for you, but uh, yeah, we don't we want that show within. to suffer. We got enemy yeah. within, so we'll we'll do it. Enemy within okay. on Friday <laughs> right. against the Dark uh, Master tomorrow, and uh, I don't know what the hell on Tuesday. <laughs> no, aliens. What am I talking about? Alien. Actually, <laughs> I don't know what the hell. Just alien. The finale. And Jen's gonna die, and everybody. Else. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Oh uh, boy. All right, well, you gotta survive you. so you get the biggest share. Yeah, no, right. I'm a robot. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, the players, for playing. Thank you, Country Biscuit, for the follow. Thank you to Found Familiar for joining us and being uh, partnering as an affiliate or sponsor, whatever we want to call it. I put a link down there again. To please check out their coffee selections. And I'm serious. I would like to talk to you about, uh, you know, let's diversify and get some uh, some Grim and Perilous uh, coffee possibly going. And uh, yeah, thank you, everybody. We will be back. I'll be back tomorrow yeah, thanks, night. Everybody. Thanks, everybody. The Dark Master. Have a good night. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.